na asifiwe tunataka kupata maombi ya ufunguzi wa mkutano kutoka Bishop Kamal Marevre Nataka tusufi sote tusimame tukawese kufungua kwa maombi mahali popote ulipo naomba kwa nyenyekevu tukawese kusimama tukufungue kwa maombi Baba katika jina na mwana wa Yesu Kristo tunasimama kwenye uwanja huu mahali pa sherehe kusherekea uzuri wako uhai wako maisha uliyempa mwana wetu faith dada yetu faith utumishi wako miaka hizo zote na nyumba yake mpaka na leo tukubali kwamba tumemruhusu aondoke aje kwako na kwa salama na wewe tunakushukuru Mungu mwili iko pamoja nasi tuna sababu ya kukaa hapa kushuhudia uzuri wako Mwana tusante kwa kila mtu amefika nasi utaba tumefika tupe amani tupe faraja na neema ya kutosha kutoka mwanzo ya sherehe hii mpaka na mwisho kila chama utakahusika hapa na utaahusika au siko katika njia ya kiungo Roho Mtakatifu tusaidie kwa kila udhaifu tutie nguvu. Roho Mtakatifu tusaidie kwa kila njia tufundishe neno la Baba na tufunulie uzima habari ya uzima. Asante kwa wale wanaokuja kutoka mbali kwa sababu wakuja kwa haraka na kwa neema na kwa amani. Asante kwa kila neno ambayo itahubiriwa neno lako lipate nafasi katika nafsi ya wanadamu. Wakapate kumjua wewe Mungu Yesu Kristo njia kwenu na uzima nasi wote tukapate kuungana na wewe Bwana tupate uzima wa milele. Asante Bwana tunafungua kikao hiki katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Maroho zote ambayo si maroho ya roho ya Mungu tunakukamata shetani tunaweka chini ya miguu ya Yesu. Tunakufunga nguvu zote za giza au na sehemu hapa katika jina la Yesu. Tunaweka chini ya mamlaka yetu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. This is your place. In Jesus name we pray. Ah uh, sisi huwa tunamshangilia Bwana katika kila jambo. Hebu tumshangilie Bwana. Patie Bwana mafuti. Tumwambie asante. Yeye ni Mungu. Tunaweza keti na tunapoketi nataka nikaridishie eh yule ambaye anaakilisha familia mkubwa atuka akaribishe uh, atukaribishe mahala hapa ndio tuendelee na program. Mnenaji wa familia, mnenaji wa familia. Welcome yule ambaye anazungumza kwa niaba ya familia. Um atuambie uh, kitu ndio tuendelee na program. Because we want to go very fast. Welcome. Welcome family representative. Sema tu neno moja mawili family representative. kuwakaribisha wote ambao mmetoka maacha kazi zenu mbali mbali na ku travel all the way wengine from Nairobi wengine from other areas kuja ku join pamoja nasi hapa kwa kumwomboleza dada wetu uh, welcome feel free na tunaomba kwamba mkutano huu bwana ubariki tuendelee katika usalama tena tuendelee katika uwepo wa ah, Asante kwa makaribisho ya ibada ya siku ya leo kutoka mnenaji wa familia tunaenda eh, kwa mazungumzo ama kutoa shukrani tukianza na kamitii ambayo ilikuwa Nairobi kamiti ambayo ilikuwa nyumbani 
eh, mjulishe mjijulishe tu kwa majina na mmoja au wawili waongee itakuwa ni vizuri kwa sababu hatutakuwa zile mbili kamati zile mbili ni wakati wenu tafadhali tafadhali praise and worship him you can sing as they prepare to come give us a number as they prepare to come please please prepare please 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 Bwana asifiwe. Ah. Uh, Ikini kipindi cha Nairobi committee ambayo ilikuwa inafanya Bwana chairman. Ilikuwa na chairman. Nilikuwa nasema hiki ni kikundi ambacho kilikuwa kinakutana ili kuandaa leo. Eh nami ndio nilikuwa sikitari. Eh Mungu ambaye alituwezesha kukutana na tukiishika na wengine wengi ambao hawako hapa pamoja na kikundi cha Destiny Church Nairobi. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa kutuwezesha. Hatuwezi sema ni sisi tuliweza kuwezesha hii siku kufanikiwa bila Mungu. Kwa hiyo tunamshukuru Mungu kwa kutuwezesha kwa kutuwezesha kufika mahali tumefika hapo sasa. Tunashukuru pia wale ambao walituweza ku visit kule Sukumao, wale ambao waliweza kutuma pesa zao ambazo zimetuwezesha ili kufanikisha siku ya leo. Mungu awabariki. Kwa niaba ya familia tunasema asante sana. Mungu awabariki. Ah sorry, 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 sorry. Ah nimesema chairman. Fresh. Kuta nani? Pokat. Pojina. Naitwa Don Metoka. Sera Isiera Ambasi. Kuku sana kamiti kwa kazi ambayo wamefanya. Rida wicheda kiarie uh, Tunashukuru mungu kwa kutuwezesha Na mimi jyo nikuwa ni kiobili sana hapo kama <laughs> Asati <laughs> Dexon, chairman alikuwa Robert Dexon Sente ya Wana yesa asifiwe hiyo ni kamati ya nyumbani mwami yesu amen sisi ya nyumbani kajianda kwa na chairman wetu bwana maiza bwana huyu sema jina lako kupiga pole na kutupea mawaidha mpaka hii siku inakaa jinsi ilivyo Salamie. 
kanisa ambao inaandaa familia shemeji yangu ambaye amepoteza bibi na watoto wake Nishikiana na watu wa nyumbani na wazee nafikiri bado hawajafika kwenye serem na bila na roho ya sante Bwana awabariki nikiwa mwenyekiti wao Bwana awabariki sana na familia iliyo eh, poteza mpendo wao pia za worship team watuimbie namba moja au mbili na tutakuwa tukikaribisha in laws na kabla in laws waje mjipange vizuri kabisa Inlos fanyeni haraka na mnapojipanga kuja nataka nikariri yale yale ambayo ilikuwa jana. Ikiwa sisi inlo au hata mmoja au awakilie awakilisha kwa maongezi ili wakati na kakamega tafadhali chukueni nafasi yenu. Eh fanyeni haraka. Msije hapa mwanze kusema wenda azavuza kalini arora za isukali nebura ya nyabura ndi o nini nini o eh hapana ongea maneno ni wengi ni wengi mbona ujipangeni ni wengi eh jipangeni jipangeni jipangeni
asifiwe asifiwe tena sisi kutoka Kakamega Shinyalu Moranda tumepoteza tumepoteza ninaomba tumutue
Tunaangalia East. Fanya haraka.
me whether I should marry her, him or not. For when he went to the man, Akaomba, Naku, Ungaku, Ukula, until the last day when Akaja Katuami, Akatuami, Akwama, God has allowed it. God has feel. So, we were happy. I told my brother, she has accepted. And then they started the plant. They took on Chumbiana for some time, about one year or two. And then they decided to do their wedding in my house also at Kakamega. What do you talk about? Wakaja Kakamega, Ufaya, Arusia, Abanet, Nafe, Wana Sifiwe. So, Abanet, I want to speak about Abanet. So, Abanet, Wameka Nafe, Nani Meskiliza, Vila Wana Wameka, Nina Sifia, Wana Kavizuri, Faith, Amenelana, Yokazi, Tulimpata Akifari. Faith has been preaching, just evangelizing, not only uh, singing, but she has been evangelizing. So we praise God that faith continues with life in Christ. Now, what faith Ali Ali Kwamgodwa Abanet Aki Baliga with Moja and Pia Sin. Faith, any faith is sick. Help me to pray. Nikamamia, I'll help you. Tukaendelea ku kuomba. Nikaenda kwa WhatsApp. Yet to your sisters. Nikakuta, my sisters have written the faith. Was say uh, is now improving, and I was very happy. Nika, Nika, and Nika happened. Nika said, "Ma, when I see you, when Jesus was with you, you may find my job." After a short time, again, Nika put a sim to talk to her. What happened? But then, Ananiabia, oh, just continue, continue praying. Yeah, continue praying. So we prayed. We 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 were still praying when Abanes just told me my wife has left me. So I know where faith has gone, and I'm happy that she has died in the Lord. She would have wanted to continue working for the Lord, but God. So it's wise to take care. So we just praise God for that. Na watoto, abanesi na watoto, sasa umewakiwa muziko, na utaendelea kuchunga hii muziko, na ukiendelea uki kumutia mungu mungu, mwenyewe atakupatia njia ya kudine watoto wako. Watoto wako wapenditika vizuri, na wewe tena utakuwa vizuri. So, Weka mungu mbele, kila kitu nyuma, na mungu ata timitia, timitia, chote, yoyote, utamuuliza. Kwa da sifiwe, mbalikiwe. Asante, sana. Lugu, ebu, unajua. Kwa na yesu asifiwe. Kwa na yesu asifiwe. Lugu yangu, abane. Na jamii yako benaya na feba Ngependa kutoa my condolence to you Kwa kutokeza sweet heart wako Obili wote Kongolazaji wote amba umekuja masiku ya leo Saidia kongoleza na rada yetu Ina wa shukuru Kwanza mimi kwa majina na ito Frida Okanda Mimi ndio dada wa ndolo mkubwa Andolo anafata mimi marapili. Lakini kwa sababu ya ye ni mwanaume, ye ye na mwita kama baba, na tena nimemweka kuwa lugu yetu mkubwa. 
wakati andora ipata faith akitoka naye kaka mega alikuja naye kwangu na hakunipata kati nirudi nikapata watoto wangu wawili niliwacha kwa boma Emily na Alan hawako kurudi wakaniambia amka amekuwa hapa anatoka tumemsikiza lakini amekuja na msichana mrembo nikauliza mbo gani wakasema tu amekuja na msichana mwingine mrembo na mimi nikamjua amepata mrembo kweli tunikaribisha faith vizuri na moyo mmoja kwa familia yetu amekuwa kama dada yetu amekuwa kama mama wetu mdogo tumekuwa tukitoa ushauri wake kwake kwa sababu yeye ndio mwanamke mkubwa kwa boma ametuachia watoto ambao tulikuwa tunakumbuka kwanza tulikuwa na sister in law tunawacha roho yake Mungu amweke pahali ambapo amemwandalia maana yeye alijua njia yake alitengeneza mwenyewe akajua kwamba siku moja akiondoka anaenda kwa baba yake tumelia lakini tumeshindwa thank you ameumia mimi niliongea naye last tarehe tatu akaniambia hana nguvu oxygen inaisha mwilini tukasema Mungu atamponi lakini yote tumeachia Mungu na tunaomba wenye mnefika hapa wote kutoeleka kwa maombi nitasoma tu eulogy ya sister in laws what could we have done to be the one to offer help through our sister's darkest tower how we knew what trouble her and gotten rid of the pain maybe we were blind we could not see anyhow she is gone forever at least from the face of the earth faith is butcher has left a wave of grief relentless merciless and endless sorrow this demise has hit us hard and we feel devastated hard and shattered faith had so much to live for so much yet to do it still feels unreal being here without her we know we have a to somehow live live the pain of never seeing her smile or hearing her powerful voice ever again but we pray that god gives us the grace to endure the pain isaiah chapter 25 verse 8 he will swallow up death forever the sovereign lord will wipe away the tears from all faces he will remove the disgrace of his people from the earth that says the lord jina la yesu libarikiwe na mbarikiwa wote kabla ndugu hamjaongea nataka nitangaze ya kwamba call of nature ladies there is a place here just immediately after the tent and men will have to go straight behind the class is welcome kanisa kwa kwa muda alikuwa kama mama yangu alikuwa kama mama yangu hapo inaeleweka ni usemo gani kulikuwa na yeye kwa muda huo ambao alikuwa mdogo na nilipo kuwa nafanya degree yangu ile attachment yangu niliishi kwa faith sio kwa ndolo niliishi kwa faith sababu ndolo alikuwa kazi tunaenda kufanya naye kazi narudi jioni na yule mtu kumpata anatengenezea boma alikuwa ni faith na tulikuwa na uhusiano and all of vile mmesikia hapa ni kama baba yetu kijana yetu mkubwa ni kama baba yetu na siku 21 hivi kabla ya faith kuaga nilipata na janga na yule mtu mmoja kwa wale walikuwa wanashikilia mkono alikuwa ni and all of Mungu wakati mmoja alipokuwa anakuja kusaidia nikampea kuku faranga kaniambia kinaweza kama unanipea kuku ujue mimi ndio niko kwa boma pete ni mgonjwa kidogo so hata niko hapa na naenda nipike na nikitoka kazini nikitoka kwenda kazini sijui nani atachunga nikamwambia wenda nazo hiyo wakati nilikuwa sikilienda nayo 
whatever happens, happens. So what happened to me, Shika Mkono, siku moja ni kama wani kenda kikiwa kazi na kakitujia simu. Ni kasikia ni kama amelia ni kakata simu. Mbada ni kakitujia manjimu zangu na data zangu, mbawa ni kwa na kwatulia ya lafangu, mbawa ni endele hospitali, hali ya tweet ilikuwa hivye, zoroteka sana. The following day, pia ni alaka ni kujia simu, kani ambia tu mpoteza free. My heart had already been broken so badly, that I could not explain the second half. Lakini, marafiki hii familia, wambawa mekua kaitu sana nasi, wamechukia mbubu. We've been strong. Now, and although na mimi ni first and last, my boys. Kati ya nabali leta pipi ya naitwa free, Na Faith, Mr. Spazaki hapa, amekua mwimbaji wa dari, amekua mtu kuomba sana. Na kumbuka tukua sukimawa kwa ndolo, tulionyesho kwa mba kuna room, Faith alikuwa na amuka saa nane, na amukia kuomba. Pia Faith wa kwangu, atangineze room. Atangineze room, atuombe, na kwe mwimbaji. Kwa mwimbaji wa dari, na napo endelea, ashikilie fema, ili arudishe kipati cha fei kwa toto wake. Naomba munga ziti kutupa ngugu, na naomba familia ziti kushikana, na naomba tuendelea kwa santi. Kanisa Mujeri Yangu ya tekawa matate Kwa wale ambao tuli interactu wa rapiz Kwa mbao kutukua tunapulana wa rapiz Tulikuwa tunayongea sana Mambo mingi Alikuwa rafiki wa karibu sana Na hiyo ndiyo ilifanya Tarei 24 mwezi ulio mita Mesikia ndo miyongu ya metoka Kwa hiyo tukwa tunajeriku kuokoa Ile ya mbayo tukeza mbia sawa Ile ilikuwa tarei 24 So tarei 25 asugui Ilikuwa na shumi mingi Ata nilikuwa mwesahawu Nilikuwa natoka tukwa mtu mmoja kwa mmoja kuenda atriva kwa delea na shikuli ambayo nilikuwa na ya. Lakini kabla nitoke, peza haka nipigesi mpia. Kwa nilizo unakuja, kwa mpelekta hospitali mata. Kwa barabara kikuwa tunongea, vizuri sana. Hawa kwa nonyesha kama ni mgonjo sana, lakia likuwa na kikaza, kaitika. Sasa narudi for review. Kasi, nika mambia akimaliza, anipigesi simu, ili niende kutukua ni mbulisha kwa nyumba kendelea na kazi yangu. Jioni dugi yangu wakanipigia simu wakanyambia pay, amekua admitted ni kambio kiki sawa. Kapigia bibi yangu, kapigia nama yangu, kapigia bibia. Bibi yangu pia ni wana rudi wa sutani, wakiwa na iba. Nika wa drop, nami nikuwa na kutupa chance, vaccine, tulikuwa tunayenda mahali. Kini kwa mbia kapla tuende, kapla tuende shiku mzitu. Eyu, stare sita, it was on a Monday. Nika, nika sikia sauti na yande, ebu uchulia. Wakati nipigia bebe wanga nalo, nika mwaliza mama feba, amefuka sukari, nika nyambia pana. In fact, nikuwa ni mtuwe leo, lakini amefuka. Nika mwaliza, okay, sawa. Kesha hake, nika enda, nika wakaka kwa visit, visiting hospital. Lilian, bibi yangu na wengine wengi. Faith, alikuwa kwa sababu anaongea. Ile kwa niambia nilete kwa hii room, kwa sababu ile ingine, general world, sema, muwombe sana. Muwombe sana, sana, sana. That was on Tuesday. Wednesday, sikuenda.
kazini jioni kitu saa kumna moja hivi kilekea saa kumna mbili kasikia pia sauti menyambia ujenda wa sultani kwenda kwa unapeza kingia kwa saa mbizi kina wasimisha wacha na simu hiki kwa takatano dada ya angu Andy Robert ya kampige hapo hapo nifunga kazi nikaenda huko kapata ndugu ya angu wanoroa kwa pali nikaenda nikaona nikaengia ICU kwa wana dada ya angu faith nishituka kidogo kwa sababu hakukua baadaye eh, watu toka the distant church kwa kote tukaomba pamoja that was on uh, a Thursday basi lakini tunaomba marafiki tuna washukuru marafiki na distant church familia ambao wametusikia mkono kuanzia wakati huo mpaka siku hii ya leo bado wametusikia mkono Mungu awabariki kwa wale wapenda mambo umetuonyesha asante kwanza kabisa Mungu ni mkuu kwa sababu Mungu ndiye anashinda mauti alileta pia kitabu ya Job kama familia ya Andolo Shetani amejaribu kutupiga this family wapenda mukitia hivyo wapoteza vitu ni wale ambao wamekuwa wakiona TV na jua wanajua. Faiza wakati alikuja katika hii familia, mimi ndio nilikuwa naishi na ndodo. Na mimi ndio nilikuwa mtu wa kwanza kuishi na Faith. Wakati anapata mtoto wake Soros, lakini tukawaombea na ninyi wote muombee Mungu awafariji. Ningependa pia mimi ndio nilikuwa mimi na mama kuna watu wengi ambao wamekuja kutushika mkono sisi tunasema asante ku acknowledge tu nimeona zile zile yote mlikupatia tumesema asante nikimalizia kwa sababu faith alikuwa muimba wote watakuombea au watu wote ambao wako hapa watakuombea it will stay in you The songs of the lady will still live forever and ever. Nitamalizia kwa kusoma brothers just a humble and loving sister in law to us. She spoke less and acted big to ensure we are comfortable. She was a remarkable woman who and who earned our mother's love and indeed all of us. She brightened our Christ, Christmas days with the incredible praise and worship session. Faith was left an indelible mark as a star that will ever be in a good is in a good place to our brother just like we have always done we will stand together throughout in this trying moment that have hit us deep in a short span our god is still on top thank you santi sana santi sana brother kamasi Okay naambiwa Kowais wakuja na want you to be brief tafadhali kwa sababu ya mawimbo Kowais kwa haraka tu kwa haraka tu tuwe brief kabisa kwa sababu ya muda kiwezekana nasema majina then one azungumze brief kumsoma ni hayo tu machache. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
Asifiwe tena. Tumempoteza faith na kwa mwenzetu mtuombe. Kwa majina naitwa Void Luka. Mkumbuke family ya Faith ya Ndolo na watoto muwaombe sana Mungu awape nguvu na hekima vile ras. Tuzidi because the gap is too big especially for us who have seen her through the hospital. It was not very comfortable and to see her go ebi begisen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Mimi naitwa Kinda. Begisen ni nokota. Yesu ni bwana na faith. We faith and kokuja kwa mchi she was just a gem. Yaani ni msichana mwenye alikuwa na few words with a big heart. Kwa msichana kind. So um tungeomba tu mtrake zilikuwa zinaendelea kwenda lakini pia alikuwa na mhubiri mmoja kwamba si ati Mungu alikosa kutengeneza pasi hiyo. Kwamba siku zake zilikuwa zimefika na ania yake yote yani she had decided she her heart to serve the Lord more than ever. So now Jua Mahali Nico she's actually worshiping with the angels. So we just pray for the children.
wakati she was alizaliwa hawa walikuwa my brother was still very young and the mother also when your brother and father were still alive and we took care as parents mimi nimehutumika kwa sababu mimi ni ndio ndio walikuwa na mama sana mimi ni mwalimu retired teacher nilikuwa na examiner nilikuwa na kucha uh, Nairobi na Chiruwato and the husband and all no. nilikuwa na Nairobi vizuri walikuwa na kucha kunichukua na nipeleka tena wananipeleka kwa shule kwenda kusaisha mtaani meuzunika sana tulisikia tu Chiruwato after a few days hata mimi nilimpikia akiwa hospitali nikaongea na yeye nikamuombea kwa simu akasema ah 
after some, I don't know, a week or what, Sente wangu anolo ananipikia na sema, she was a mezitiwa, Pelekwa ICU. Hey, after a few minutes I pick a simu. Tunaenda kumuona. Nika pickia my daughter in law. Enda raka wangali ya shiwanzo kwa hospitali. Wakaenda. Pika hospitali. Wanasema. Ameku. Atuuzuniki kama watu wabaha wajui. Maachi kwa sameenda. Najua ya kwamba maenda mbinguni Kwa sababu alikuwa naimba nyimbo Sa mwenyezi mungu Alikuwa naomba Mungu akubariki sana Watu wa mungu Wame wakajina la yesu hamjambo Hamjambo tena uh, Shiru watso Nisenje Send Elizabeth's hot Niki train kama nas. Asanti. Vile nidi kuja, nidi angalia shilu watsona nika situka. Tulipata manapane. Baba ya shilu watso, diyo ananifuata kwa mkongo. Shilu. Vile alianza shule, alisoma vizuri. Watso hakuwai, enda na kubranch kwa watu wengine vile wasichana wanafanya thank you so much shiruwazo amani wakwa wakae kwa tumaini na wajue ya kwamba Mungu atawalinda mimi naitwa Lucy Makatiani Mohanga asante asante kwa wote asante mbarikiwe wale wamebaki tu kwa ufupi ah bwana sifiwe kwa majina naitwa Morris Nanga Mama wa Shiluazo na mimi na mama wa Shiluazo ni ndugu. Yeye ni sister yangu, papa mkubwa na mimi baba mdogo. Ndogo. Mimi ningesema ya kwamba pole sana. Kama wewe ni mama, kama wewe ni sene, kama wewe ni sister. So she, she would call you anything. Akona anje ko sene, akona anje ko mama. But later she picked up and knew that whatever I said, I just want to revisit one joke. One day I, you know, I listened to she was so making fun of me with other children. They would say, no nonsense, start with jinga. Then after a short while, I could hear it again. No nonsense, start you jinga. Kumbe, baba wala nga sedia nona. Kwa jita nga renye kubona. No nonsense, start you jinga. Kumbe, it had become my name. So we enjoyed having Shiruanzo in our midst. We are sorry that she has died so early. Kama mungu ange wadiza, kaseme atuko enani. Mimi ningesema mungu chukua mimi. Na uwache shiru watu in future and in zike. But since God does his own will, we are burning our beautiful Senge. Senge, go in peace. You have left us very sad, but with time we shall heal. Keep her in eternal peace. Lord, I'm better Senge wa shiru watu. Ndugu Jiberi Mali Mkotu Cousins Cousins Ni mambia kwamba kuna shemeji mmoja Nichelewa pale tumali Kwa naweza selba jina Cousins 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 wa fe Praise the Lord Wana sifiwe Mzeke kikata Anoroji pemoe Na kwa kwa maombi mungu wa mfariji Na pamoja na watoto Na pasta wote mungana mkono Tukweza kuombea hii familia Asante sana mungu wa bariki Ataka cousins wote wa faith Cousins wote wa faith 
啊。三十，呀，那他看图，我先买图，哪一朵弗兰，我弗兰，那我奶奶不看，他发呆了。我先买布，那耶稣阿西菲喂，先买图，哪一朵弗兰，我弗兰，图阿西图阿。Wamesema kuna representative Grace and Grayson Yenu wote So wako wapi Grayson Alafu Yune mwingine Gladwell Ako wapi Grayson and Gladwell So Na Seth Wako wapi hawa watatu Wawa watatu wako wapi Speaking on your behalf, so you just wave. To we recognize your presence. Just wave wherever you are. We recognize your presence. Allah from when the Mokai, how I will present to Kofupi. Muna wesa wave to Mahali Muko. Thank you, thank you. Opinion makofi kwa sababu wa mekuja. Good. Briefly, please. Members, we can answer. Remember, speaking here a few minutes back. Me me ni lelewa na. Koko, wetu pamoja na kwa nyumba moja na our aunties. So we grew up together in the same family, in the same house, we had the same food, we went to the same school. So I lost my sister actually because nimekuwa na yeye kama dada yangu hadi nikakuwa mkubwa. Can they be able to visit us? Let them be free to come and see us from where we stay. Why you appear to see you forever? Be welcome to your faith in the way to and like a... There's one thing I think I've struggled with is to talk about faith, as I was to say. But now I want to give an assurance to Favor and Benaya. I am a psychologist, that's what I do for a living. And I want to be there for you. I want to call you, I want to talk to you, I want you to call you didn't know faith. Because I know there are many of us here who didn't know her. Maybe you're just here to come for the first time. She was a great woman. She was kind-hearted, she was loving, she was welcoming. And above all, what you've seen just now, she was God-fearing. It's possible to imagine that she's truly God. I loved her so much, but I accept the will of God. May her soul rest in peace, and the family be comforted, and I'm assuring you favor. And then... <laughs> Na sisi kama cousins tuliongea jana na tumekuja ujombani kulia in solidarity na kasi nilipokuwa Nairobi na fei vile tulikutana na yeye safari ya kwanza alichukua kama mtu ametujua kitambo hata nakumbuka nilipoenda huko nilikuta kazini wangu mwingine anaishi huko na fei alimuchukua kama ndugu yake. Huyo si alikuwa mzuri. Mtu wa kulea jamii ya kina Bwana, si ndio? Kwa hiyo sisi kitu tunamtakia tu ni kwamba wakati wa parapanda. Simbarikiwe na haya. Asante sasa nephews wamejipanga. Tafadhali kujeni haraka. Ninyi ni vijana kujeni. Ah wamesema they are singing one stanza and then they have to that Kanisa, family, friends, na wana wote ambao wamekuja kutusindikiza ama kutusaidia. Kusindikiza our beloved aunt, Bwana Siwe. Bwana Siwe tena. My name is Eva Okanda. Auntie, we loved you so much, but we just want to sing one stanza and a chorus because we, knew, we know you love singing so much. 
for our cousins ben 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 it is when when i says few tutaimba pamoja wimbo what can wash away my sin wash away my sins nothing but the blood of jesus <coughs> What can make me all again? G oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fountain I know. Nothing but the blood. Asante, asante sana. Nataka niite wale siblings wa Felix wa the late faith. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters. Wa the late faith. Wako? Kuja tu haraka tafadhali. inakuja wanapomalizia area assistant chief uwe karibu mlenda wao ni brada ya faith mwenye namfata nilipata message kutoka kwa mzee akinitumia akisema enda mata hospital kwenda uone sister kwa ndio ndio ongea naye akisema hata akabakipu kutoka so kutoka huko ndio nasikia tena nyuma na naenda so mtuombe kama familia huyo ndio tulikuwa tekenea hiyo na mjambo wote tutaanza kusema jina naitwa Helen Matilani mimi ni nilizaliwa na brothers so bila walinionyesha ilikuwa when my grandmom died wakanionyesha ule na ilikuwa tu at distance so nilipoenea nikasema kumbe i have a sister so nilikuwa namwangalia at ah 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 barudi hale kuita kubwa mko mlenda fund Enzo kumira pananga Walter Muhande Nende brother wa Faith Eh Faith huyo Kona nde the stuck up in the stinishi Tia ya konya kwa mu enzi as an individual Many brother I was in a coma Nilikuwa kiambu hospital sikuwa najielewa lakini ilikuwa tu ni kama sasa ni story napigiwa faith alikuja hapo hospitalini yeye ndio alikuwa anakurudia hata pampas ulikuwa mgonjwa haukumrealize hata si kumuona but nilikuwa na nilikuwa naambia tu faith alikuja hapo hata vile nilikuwa namwangalia sijui hata kama faith alikuja but she was there for me ama namna gani Tuko na uzuni. Isi sote mkubwa. Na ameenda mtoaje. Let her soul shine on her way. Huyu ndio sisi tumu na mabaki na sisi. Eh shemeki. Ningependa kusema hivi. Wajomba wangu wanyo wako hapa wawili. Tafadhali make efforts make efforts
report maybe faith alikuwa ana plan kupeleka hao watoto wake kwao kwa boma ya buka mahali penye baba faith alimza ana hapa ndao wale wengine maybe ni wako kulika na toti nimesha mapaya lakini sisi ni wajambo wake faith huyu na mimi na kuna mwingine anaitwa Gerald and I saidi kwa safari sisi ndio wajomba wao bila hata kama buka yao anaishi kwa nyumba ya nyasi tafadhali wacha wa kule murenda yenye haitepikwa na mafuta ndio wajue hawa ni wajomba wangu sisi ndio wajomba wale wadamu kama kuna wajomba wenye wanatembelea kwa magari hali ama wanatembelea kwa ndege ama sijui modo di sijui ndio sisi sisi ndio wajomba wake reality so i just urge my shemegi please hiyo kazi imekuachia then kama mko hapo hivi kifo ni akila mtu hata biblia inasema yule binadamu mwenye amezaliwa na mwanamke ndio aone ufalme wa mbinguni aki walai wa Mungu mama wangu Gladys lazima akufe lazima tu akufe ndio aone ufalme wa Mungu haezi aone ufalme wa mbinguni ili hii si ile wakati asijui aliita kutembea amen na kuenda mbinguni hakuna asante itakuja kuwa kwanza kuona time wote alisimama hapa akasema hivi one day one time i'll die mimi najua nitakufa asante yeah so we are just passing by ama namna gani yeah asante mimi ni Walter Mohande mwana uli goju mahanga kwa mo- Thank you very much. Asante. Naita administration area assistant chief. Nikikumbusha at- sisi sote hatutakufa. Kuna wale watanyakuliwa wakiwa hai. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo sote hatutakufa. Kuna wale watakufa wakiwa watakatifu watanyakuliwa. Na wale watakatifu wakamba wako hai pia wataenda. Kwa hivyo hatu utakufa sote. Asante. Uh, nimechukulia hapo kwa mchungaji. Uh, kwanza nitaanza na majina. Naitwa Edwin Farunda Assistant Chief uh, Capsotic. Uh, kwa sababu ya hali ya anga, anuimbune huku wako kazi mnawaona kule. Kwa hivyo nitaenda upande wa county government kama kuna mwakilishi upande wa afya kuna kuna mwakilishi wa walimu nikianza na Kapsoi primary majirani Kapsotik majirani Kapsotik au mwelezaji wote andolo pole mama ani pole kwa mko wa boma na wote ambao tumefika hapa na ninamwambia pole kifo ni kichungu mwenzako mwenye mnakaa naye akipokonywa akienda mwenye umabaki unasikia uchungu na kwa upande wa afya wacha tuseme hivi magonjo yamekuwa mengi watu wanakonyeka na wana huo wanatuambia uende hospitali upime na huo ukipimwa mara kwa mara ujui uko na namna gani na ni hayo tu mbarikiwe ni pole tu kwa ndolo Mungu mwenyewe akufariji ni ngumu jifunge kamba na uombe Mungu hata kama wewe ni aina siku hizi ukiwa mwanaume tulikuwa tunasema kwa wanaume ni rahisi lakini si rahisi utaona mambo ya ajabu na Mungu naye akufariji asante sana mbarikiwe ah napatiana kwa mwenye boma hili atukaribisha rasmi Nieshimu kanisa letu la PG waombolezaji wote Bwana Yesu asifiwe asifiwe tena Mimi ninaitwa Caroline uh, kile kimefanya tuje hapa ni kwa sababu ya dada yetu Faith ambaye ni mke wa Andolo Andolo ni mmoja
ni kazi ambayo inafanywa na Andolo akiwa chairman wa hiyo group. Kwa hivyo kabla walimu wenzangu waongee ningependa mkubwa wa alumni any representative to come and pass the condolences of the alumni. Ninaona hawako kwa program na itakuwa mbaya sana nikiwanyima nafasi. Alumni Kapsoi Asante. Uh, vile nimesema hicho kikundi na wamefanya kazi nyingi sana kusaidia shule hii. Kwa hivyo wacha nipe mmoja wao aongee. Asifiwe. Jina langu ni Iravonga Harriet. I'm the yes, alumni treasurer. Uh, senator is our chairman. Huwa tunamuita senator. He's our boss. Tunasema ya Mungu awafariji. Ah, uh, wote ambao tumefika kwa ajili ya rushwa ya Dada Faith. Na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good and that is essential. Uh, it's a blessed day that we gather here today to say fair be well, faith. And although the family, Nababukawosi, is in a one hour of a Riji, a Kawati and Guvu, Katika Msimu, Duniani Mapito, and he should let us some among the lady. When you are by the men of the alumni, Kapsoi Primary School, you send me one hour for each water. Santi, they were just using my airtime. And you get Penda Kusema Pole Binafsi, Kwafakna Familia Yangu, Kwabwana Andolo, receive my condolences. Pia Hapa Tuko na BOM members, just wave. Tuko na chairman wetu ambaye ni one of the MCs and then tuko na wazazi. On behalf of Kapsoi community, may may I pass the condolence of the Kapsoi. Asante ni hayo tu. Wacha hawa ni wenzangu, they are my mentors. Familia ya Ndolo, Kalisa na wote ambao wamekuja kuomboleza pamoja nasi na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu amjambo bwana Yesu asifiwe pole Mungu atakupa nguvu mimi naitwa Alfred Choko nikiwa mwalimu mwalimu kwa Cam Academy you are on the board of management. On their behalf, Nasema Pole, Munga Weapon Move. Sante. Kuliwosi. Remember, Hand. Mimi Sita Sama Mengi. E. Gami and Dono. The Barat Kizamu. Now, what a fickle Yanzi Kitamu. Kule Babuyangu, Nabuyao, Namoyot na tumefanya vitu hivi uh, hasa family ya ya ndolo hii ndolo sana tangu aliniweka hapo na tumejuana uh, hata mimi wakati nipata msiba kama huu ndolo alikuwa ameongea kwa nini na aliniuliza mzazi kufa na mdadi kesho yeye anasikia mambo mengi mengi ambayo yanatokea ndolo mwenye usata panga joni wa hali na wa mbusu wa jamba engineer Utinye, mwenye kalezani yonyo mwakusari. Na mwenye mwenye kuli kuifani. Ni watu ambao napenda masamu. Unaona tunashule. Hata hii wameisaidia kuwendelea. Ni mwaku, ni chairman, heads association. Hapa banja, tena managing secretary, Hanisa Kauti. Poneni sana. Asante sana kwa kusikiliza. Mimi naitwa Mahale Robert.
mwalimu kwa kabisa bora asante eh family ya andaolomu lina wanye eh nabi tuba mkosi wa mwichuku kulita andaolomu na kaburi mireme bo andaolomu pole ukorita mlai ma kutenda anga manyi mundu mukhaye mundu na yutenda msafu na kaburi pole andaolomu sasa kuta kuruli tira anga ushauri ni kanyo mwenye mwenye ni uwenya kutekeleza ni uwenya kutamina tehendo kena kila sasa wakata mshama shindi na pando wa wano la kulibu usu wapi hansi umone mawiu wananga ina ya liyali na uchiwa triki union in south africa kwa nyona di zikubwa wadada pole kuliko ni wabundu na ala kulu nyo la kuba mbira mlai kuli mbako ya tarira wa seneta kuna na kutakwari kala kutwa kuseneta ya ni mbako ya tarira wa seneta kwe pole kuruta mkhaya kwa liku ni wanda ala unya la kuba mshauri mlai na kwa nunundi ina mdamba wala batichi muambani batichi muambani Ati jumwa mbano Katumi shiawa wala mbwale kainako Mbwala andolo Umbeende na narobi ya ndenya Kuta kumunge ito bando matiriki Kasana Ah Najwa hiyo ameenda kwa mother tongue Sindio Ameeka kulosi ya mother tongue Sababu ni chama na watu Ah upande wa Politicians sijawaona hapa lakini wanga wanatusaidia na sadaka mtu anasema nimetumwa alete sadaka kuna yule ametumwa na women rep alete sadaka mfatana haraka haraka niko na dakika mbili wameniambia bado moja Uh, alafu ningependa kumkaribisha mwenzangu ambaye tunafanya na Asante sana mtawala wetu Edwin Harunda ambaye tunatamani siku moja awe SCC Jamii ya waliofiliwa Andolo kuondokewa na mke wake Mama mzazi watu wa ukoo kwa jumla Watu ambao mmetoka sehemu mbalimbali msheri za mlifu Yesu mirembe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asande nuhubereri. Mama ni mama kubana bebe. Pole kwa ajili ya kifo cha mama huyu ameondoka mapema naambia ndolo pole. Kila ambacho kimenileta hapa nimetumwa na risala za rambi rambi. Wa kwanza ambaye ameniambia nifike katika mjuu na nipeane rambi rambi zake ni mheshimiwa Bitu Sadakala anamjua kijana wetu ambaye aliwania kiti cha MCA na zikura zeze za duha tao itu kulindi na zituhe kiri ngombe ya senja kubohamu biko viosi sande muna nana mboli ni nduha mba ane mirembe ane rena hani buhonyi buhewe wakaviri Transparency and accountability ni shindu shirai Wakaviri kumbwa lere ndu uhe mba anazi saindi tiyatye Ni mama Janet Ominde Ambo lere ndu uhe mba nusoma luno Mbole pole Nambane rambi rambi yeye Yizi siri njizi yele futiranu Ambo lere ndu uhe bandu banje Bada yizi saindi zo mba ane mirembe Mugu jiri re mirembe Mama Janet ni mukhana we rukurula mujibu ojimuno Hitu kuli itanga kani na yikombanga Chiso kwa shuku kawa na Chiro ya nyaya kerishi Kani na yasi njire huu Waha waka Iti ni tisendi Ni awa area MCA Shinjani kuli muhali utiza kumukutu yimbira kuya suwe re Rwanda Ni mwoni mutama nundi iti kuchira shindu Inzani iti nivi indu mba ananga Mweshimbiwa Collins Anyanja yuku Musakulu wa Rui Panja Ango wale nduhano Mbana mirembe cheche Ambana nisisiri njiti 
Tiene fiti vaka. Wanu mwenye di muari muda na wanu. Shinjini maganya. Abori ni nuhamba na mireme juma bana. Tisala mudiye. Mungu jili na mireme. Sana kwenye juu na kumu shukuru yomo. Na wanu wanu. Kani zikuru tiabu tiabu la kutuha. Makole zia wako. Abori ni nuhamba na tisala juma bana mireme. Na dikuza dikianga nyuma kuni siasa dawa. Siasa kano kifo kano. Bando wanya saye, nangwa rupa tatochi, nula isere mi amde sita del sajendi meja, mwenye nina juwe penye nina toka na penye nina elekea. Asambeli sana wa shere mwenye nze damu ya anza sana. Mwara wano wa sata wa mudianu, wawuli nama kodi kuli nze, mwenye kuwa kuma mwa wati zendi ukarewa mkari wa uwa mba. Urulidati zendi uwe mama uwa uwa. Ya kuchi inga mieri tisa, wakina mama uwa. Hello. Ah, hiyo ni sauti ya wanasiasa, si ndio? Lakini nataka ukue kwa ufupi sana. Karibu. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh, ni uzuni. Angalia huko. Ni uzuni kumpoteza Shana Faith. Angalia huku. Pesa. Bwana asifiwe. Ni uzuni kumpoteza msichana Faith. Amewacha familia yake tunahuzunika lakini wacha Mwenyezi kuwa mfariji wa karibu. Mimi nimetumwa hapa na mheshimiwa mbunge wa Mhaya mwalimu Jeremaya Omboko Milemba. Amesema pole kwa familia Aganira ni Asante. Ah nafunga kikao changu kwa kukaribisha mwenzangu ambaye tunafanya naye kwa National Administration ambaye pia ni mjomba wangu. Shukuru Mwenyezi Mungu sisi ametufikisha hapa tukiwa hai. Hatujamzidi yule ambaye ameaga lakini ni kwa mapenzi yake. Jambo la pili kipo ni kichungu. Na kila mara ile kwa niaba ya mume wangu ambaye ni mjomba hapa ameniambia nije niambie mjomba wake jitie nguvu. Alisema hata kuambia pole yeye atakwambia jitie Mungu na mtumwa. Wewe hano kuni bosi mako pole tuko pamoja lakini at the end of the day tunaenda. Kwa pastor mabore singiri kosare. We will all go, lakini mungu tabaki na ye. Kwa hivyo, sumainia mungu and be strong in God. Weba na benaya, kiyato ambacho mmeva, kwa wakati mingine ni kikubwa, na kwa wakati mingine ni kidogo sana kinabana. Mimi pia ni mewai kuwa mahali hapo, lakini mkimtumainia mungu, yote atakuwa sawa. Kwa majina naitua Eva Limsinga, Assistant Chief Kitagwa. Nilikuwa nimeka kule nilikuja kuchelewa sababu ya kazi lakini sasa mwami maandulio wa alira manzira ni. Sawa sasa asanteni sana. Anasema sasa na cross anaenda kwa a uh, relatives. Uh, nimesahau mtu mmoja ambaye kwa na salamu kutoka Budalangi my sister. Veronica Bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Kwa majina naitwa Veronica Wanjala, ndugu yangu Andolo pole. Mama yangu na mama ya Andolo ni sisters. Sasa ningependa kuambia Andolo jipe moyo. E, ni hali Mungu atakusaidia. Mupokee salamu kutoka Bdalangi. Asante. Ah uh. Mimi sita wa majina ni uh, Senior Assistant Chief of Safety Edwin Kafunda Mbariki. Uh, tumemaliza kipindi sehemu ya kwanza na mtawala napokaa tunakaribisha wawakilishi wa Kenya Pipeline. Wote waje wanapokuja na mimi nataka kusema ya kwamba 
tumefika pale sisi we are handing over to the Nairobi people na ikiwa tulikukatiza kuzungumza ilikuwa ni kwa sababu ya hali jinsi ilivyo wote tumekuja kuomboleza wale ambao wamezungumza na wale ambao hawajazungumza kwa hivyo tuko kitu kimoja shikilia tu pale na bwana atakubariki karibu Kenya pipeline please wakilishi ama wote ambao wamekuja karibuni 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 wakati ni wenu na upatia mic Unaweza kuja na wale ambao umekuja nao waonekane tu waonekane wote. Iwajulikane ya kwamba walikuwa hapa. Hebu kujeni kubwena atawa atawafanya tu muwe watu waone. kanisa na wote waliofika kuhudhuria harusi ya mwisho ya mama faith tunawasalimu hamjambo walioko mbele yenu ni baadhi ya wanaofanya kazi ni abanas abanas ni mfanyikazi wa shirika la reli shirika la Kenya pipeline uh, company ambalo linasafirisha mafuta tafadhali mtu asituulize kuhusu bei sisi tunasafirisha mafuta um, sisi kama wanaofanya kazi na abana tulipopata habari kwa kweli tuliuzunika hatukajipa nguvu tukamwombea mwenzetu kwamba ajipe nguvu kwa vile ni hali yetu sote yule mama ingawaje pengine hatumjui kwa ukaribu kabisa lakini tunamjua bwanake huu jamaa wale wanaofanya kazi pamoja wanajua kwamba huwa anafika ofisini mapema sana na anapofika kazi huwa yuko nadhifu jinsi alivyo msimuone kwamba amevaa tai leo mkadhani ni kwa sababu kuna hii sherehe this is a smart guy every other time na wanasema kwamba behind every successful kwa sababu ya muda sitasoma ujumbe wa management but i have a message uh, for andolo be strong your colleagues your friends will continue to support you colleague i hand over to you bwana sifiwe bwana yesu asifiwe praise the lord we are here to rest a minister we are here to rest a minister of the gospel kwa hivyo tuchangamke tukue na celebration because as people of god we know where faith is amen Bwana asifiwe. Asante sana. We want to get into another category. Na sasa mtaka kusikia uh, speeches na tributes ya very close family and then we go to the church and we will close it there. Uh, uh, nisaidiwe na mic ngine. I want to call and before I call let me introduce myself. My name is Pastor Joe, Joe Alando. I serve with Destiny Family uh, Destiny Life Church and a Bishop Phillips Katutu who is here. Yeah, this little family is something very dear in my heart. <laughs> this little life church. And that is where we have served with uh, Minister of Faith for a number of years in Siokimau. Uh, I bring condolences from my wife, Evelyn, Pastor Evelyn, who is a very close friend of faith, who could not make it to travel, and my own personal condolence uh, to uh, the family of Mr. Andolo, who is also one of us in the church. Allow us, sasa tupoke wazazi, uh, waweze kupea na their tributes, na nitaanza na mama wake, Mr. Andolo. Mr. Andolo's mom, tafadhali njoka, ama kama kuna representative ambaya na kuwakilisha, useme mawili matatu juu ya mstana wako, alafu tuende aste aste mwendo kama hivyo, tuwakwe wakati, hallelujah. Tushangilia mama kwa makofi, anapu kuja. Tunataka...
wawili Mungu atanisaidia tumeishi Mungu awabariki sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen asifiwe tena Amen ndio ndio bali sana kukutana na mkana wangu fikeli faizi faizi ni mkana wangu yanzi Alihuhabi <laughs> juu ya mwimbaji wa Christmas wewe sijui unakumbukwa kwa kufanya nini siku ya Christmas mtoto wangu lakini nitawatia papa yake mwenye safu ya damu aweze kuongea asante asante Ah, wana Yesu asifiwe. Na wasalamia wote katika jina la Yesu Kristo hamjambo. Atijambo. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Pastor Zipora Muruli, ni mama wa Faith. Mtuombe. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Mirembe Jumuana. Amen. Mirembe Jumuana Wimbeli. Amen. Mirembe Jishi Khair. Rembe. Nishere kubole shindu tawe. Faithi. Mwarusi yeye na mbole na wasanji wanje. Nuhivuli mwana muyayi. Umenyanga uhivuli wana wanga. Fabiri. Anaha wasanji mwana wanji. Mwleji. Lakini nwa hivuli mwana waka wahivu wanyi. Nuhu mwana waba andubosi. Bando barudi kaka meka Vene fichiri Tomo Mwende kota luimbo lala Homo manye mwere Faizi ya rola kaka meka Ni amenya liwu kana Faizi ya rola kaka meka Na yivu luana wa mama Ya yivu luana wa ta Bando barudi kaka meka Eshinyalu Emoranda Karibuni Sampai jumpa
mama na baba waonge wamalizie hapo ndio tusonge kwa sababu ya hali ya haraka asante sana mama shutao hey simwana wa anjo huyo ndio amliliza alwali mambo ni ruhuti nimejaribu nimetafuta nimempata moja ni na nikaamini kweli amekufa kwa hivyo sitasema maneno mengi amenifanyia maneno familia yetu Mr and Mrs Fred Matekwa Taetu mtoto wetu wa kwanza Faith huyu sisi atuombi samadhi isingu Otukumweza homa bega shichira hey bahuru khola ni mwana wimbe shikho ya shikiri gale yenze Bonjerere manzi yemi ndeshere face deshi face mone khono chianya sai dira mes ladis madekwa asante asante sana makofi ya mama mtangelea asante sana Aya tutulia tutulia kisi baba sasa. Merembe ni bukana. Merembe. Merembe ka wan ba kwa ndoto ba bere. Isiwa ano ko. Merembe ba ko ko. Face. Mama Nora me bon apo. Mama Maxemla me bona. Ukuja ranga raka. Ikosa mimi ni onge. Tafadhali. ndio <tos> Mujeri tamri na jeje tumirembe bosi. Rembe. Tumirembe kumwami. Rembe. Eh. Asante. Sobira mali. Fanye simbo la kunya na kubona. Ni hali ndahere nyasaye kosi. Na kokoka wange utikale. Ulibiza mu Yesu alakuwa tingulu. No dirira nili menya paka kanja nyasaye akulomba. Nyasaye amuni Merembe kandi merembe enze shina bana makhulu munyita ngali na wala kuti makhulu kidoko lona kana faith uli mbole ni faith ne mwana wanje mukhulu ya hali ya toshira mu mbole abalanga injira private school kapita mutiani waka vizuri akaenda shule ya Bishop Solomon Girls 3 kilometers from home alikuwa anatembea kwa mguu na mimi nilikuwa nafanya kazi na telecom Kenya hii ndio somo kizuri kapita mtihani wake wameandika kwa live history waka right away from form 1 up to form 4 Hakuna mtu alikuwa anasaidia mimi. Alikuwa tu mimi peke yangu. Nilikuwa nali nalipa. Nilikuwa nimeingia sako na jukua pesa huko na somesha mtoto. Fokuswa shule because of school fees. Na akafanya mtihani wake na akapita Jizo kidogo ukuka. Sasa ulimoko uwanje tahala gani kolo. Ulimoko uwanje mlei mno. Na kwa heshima. Aniwa mbaye. Manzi zero pa kuka banje eba. Ile kijana yangu kuka. Bile ondani sema 
tafadhali utembee huko tu waleke huko nyumbani wajue kwa kina kwa buka yani kwa kujua kwangu hata kama mimi nakula mrenda tukule watu ugonjwa wake nilipata simu kutoka kwa kukua tarehe mbili hiyo tarehe mbili nilikuwa kwa kanisa tukara oxygen inaishia yuko na ulisa kukua masuwedi kwa chua mimi nilisikia mudu hako oxygen ama nikiwana hako mudu hama hameweko oxygen sana baada ya siku mbili nilikuwa na pika simu ama kukua ananipikia Na msikio ndio kuna watu tu maji na ndio kuna maji. Ikikula ikikula ni kidogo sana. Imeuni. Na mtoto wa pekee kwa mtoto wangu ambaye alikuwa amepata mahali pa kukaa endelea. Na alinde mimi. Sita mchoshe na mambo mengi. Wacha mimi ni ishe hapo ikisema mimi naitwa Fred Matei kwa mwana yeye ama jina ya Yeye kwa mimi hapana ukae yetu ambaye alisaa sisi alisaa baba zetu alikuwa anaitwa hiyo jina hata kwa watu ni jina tu na ni wewe hata hapo nyuma kuna mlogi karibu tatu Asante. Hebu simama maloti kwa wao kwa mlogi tatu. Naenda kanisa. Asante. Hata tukii chochote kuhusu uchawi. Asante. Asante. Asante baba. Asante. Asante sana tupigie baba makofi. Asante. Asante sana. One word. One word. Kwa sababu ni mgonjwa kidogo. Tafadhali just one minute. baba makufi i uh, was consulting with mheshimiwa and uh, mheshimiwa tulishapita utawala lakini tumekubali program he has promised he is going to keep it thank you mheshimiwa family marafiki na ukoo president chief bwana atendiwe bwana atendiwe tena mimi na dr charles kimose member of parliament for this for the time being I met you in Nairobi. I didn't know your wife was sick, but we didn't have time to talk. I said, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk to you. 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 It is a difficult situation in which you are today. But, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. Asante, asante, asante. Pia ni kwa na mwashimiwa hapa metungwa na mwashimiwa hamiri. Tumekubalia na kwamba sita mpatia mic. Lakini nita mtangaza kwamba ametungwa. Sige penda kuchedeo kwa matanga ya nugu yangu kwa kupoteza mke waki. Dugu andolo tumetoka na embali na familia hii ya kina nuhu kanira. Pasa pia mimi naitwa nuhu. Sasa jina ya baba ya Andoona na jina yangu zinaenda pamoja. Nimekuwa MCA wa NDE, the first MCA wa Banja, na pia nimekuwa MCA wa tatu wa NDE lakini nguo yenye akina. Kwa nimetumwa na mheshimiwa George Hanire. Ambaye aliniambia niambie ndugu Andoona pole sana kwa kumpoteza mke wako na watoto wafanikike katika Bwana. Amenipatia sadaka yake ya shilingi 1500 nilipeane kwa ndugu Andoona. Amefanya makosa. It's a good man, he has kept time. He's a good man. Thank you. Very good. I want us to be very, very sober because now I want to call the children. The children of faith to give their tributes. Uh, 
Kevin, Fever, and Benaya. This is your moment, and uh, we want to receive you. Wow. Amen. Amen. Um, my name is Benaya Bixen Ganira. More than she loved herself, she loved everyone. And she was a really good singer. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our children first. Our mother was a woman who lived a life of purpose, dedicating herself to her family, friends, community, and God. She was more than a mother to us. She took deeply within her soul. Today we gather not in sorrow, but in celebration of our life to our dear mother. Uh, my short speech is to Napoleon Mama, to Napoleon Mama. Because I was affected to a point that at an education wise I was very bright but it didn't change. But Ule Mama Ito Ambaya Melala Pale, I Badilisha Maishang, Hajawai Bakua, I will depend on Tokoake, I will put a new Nabang. My mom said, Amen, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 But my mom is going to go to the hospital. My mom is going to go to the hospital and I took advantage of that. How can I go to the hospital? My mom is going to go to the hospital. My mom is going to go to the hospital. And I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to go to the hospital. Na wakati nilibatika nikapanda kazi nikaenda nakuru through my uncle Agri ambaye injini Agri ambaye ni kama babangu mdogo ambaye nampenda sana akiwa na kazi mahali the first person alikuja kwa maisha yake ni mimi 
Nilienda na kuru, nikabatika kupata mwa e, bibi, baina mpenda sana yuko hapa. Mama. Na nilipo kuja siyo kimao kwetu, kakana mama kidogo tukiwa na mtoto wangu ambaye hajaweza kufika leo <coughs> my mama niambia hapo umeangukia <laughs> na nilipo mleta nyumbani kwa shosho shosho alisema nimeangukia <laughs> tumekuja tukaishi vizuri na mama tukafika mahali kwa sababu ya ujana tukapoteleana kidogo mambo ya kifamilia my mom alinintroduce kwa kanisa destiny kama bado inaitwa breakthrough chini ya field katutu hata nilikuwa nikihepa kwa kama is biological son wakati tulikuwa na tofauti kidogo there's a time I'm forget alikuwa na graduation na forget akaniita tukaenda sio kimo hapo ananipigia simu sana akanipigia simu kwa sababu ananijua mimi hapo he commanded me iwe unafaa ukuje sio kimo au immediately bila nilienda sio na jibu maswali yako bila akishia saa kiulira wao mke ni hapo you are not being a good fast boy imetokea hivyo wajaribu ku ku summarize please Time. Mimi naambia baba yangu hivi Vile mama Faith alikuja alibadilisha maisha yetu Na wakati baba yangu alikuwa na struggle the baba yangu hakuwahi rudi chini ali he focused Lakini wakati huu wakati baba amepoteza mama Mimi nasema hivi Narudi Nairobi leo na naenda kurudi kwa Boma through the advice of my to miss my mom. Mtakuwa na hiyo gap tutajaribu kuijenga. Thank you Kevin. We need to get that. Na my brother Bena tuko na pamoja. I want to ask Mr. Andolo the moment uh we will receive you to give you a tribute and then we the church um and then we shall have a eulogy. The eulogy and the church Mr. Andolo I want to proclaim Mr. Andolo my confidence and that let's encourage him. Thank you sana. Thank you sana. Tunamwita mheshimiwa. Bana asifiwe. Bana asifiwe. Amen. Uh Nikiangalia hapa ninashangaa. Sikujua unanipenda hivi. Mungu awabariki. Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Andolo Kanera. Ili mwe kwa lawa no Kanera. Na nimesimama hapa kwa uchungu kwa kutoamini. Ninafikiri ni ndoto. Napata sio ndoto. Nafikiri ni uongo. Napata sio uongo na inafika mahali where we need one to make a very difficult statement that i would want to release my wife going this amen faith tulipo wana na yeye hajawahi kukuwa admitted to hospitali alimicho ya faith ile ninajua ni mara mbili mara ya kwanza alipopata fedha mara ya pili alipopata naye hiyo ndio alimicho ninajua faith ajua hello bwana asifiwe faith hajawahi atungojwa wa kwenda kuwa admitted hapana faith kama ni ugonjwa would go to the hospital apewe dawa na rudi nyumbani 
na alianza kukokoa kidogo tu mimi ninachoa kukoa mama yangu alikuwa ananituma kwa mama wengine pale tunaenda na kutafuta mitishamba hapo hivi na kuja na goga goga na wengine ilikuwa kali alafu na kunywa alafu kozi naisha so faith akakoa kidogo akaenda hospitali akapewa madawa akarudi kuna madawa hakubadilika vizuri akarudi hospitali vile uh, kile tulisema kufika hospitali at review at mission mara visited faith after she had been admitted nilipata amewekewa oxygen na akaniambia ninasikia liko mgonjwa baada ya siku tatu mbie ina hivi akabadilika na akakuwa mzuri kabisa kaza kusema mimi naenda nyumbani na nyumba yangu tunakaa watu wanne Feba akitoka akienda shule tunabaki watu watatu watatu sasa kwa watu watatu watu wawili ni wanaume hawajui kupika hawajui nini eh huyu ni kijana wanaitanga mbona ndio 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 mama's boy so this is mama's boy na mimi ni the bigger mama's boy kidereti sichi mahali iko kichiko kingine nikitafuta sichi mahali iko alafu nimepata ujumbe amekuwa admitted so ikabidi nigeuke niwe mama ili nilinde hii kijana na niwe baba i take care of the other areas ni kijana ikabidi nimfunze wewe wewe wewe. Wazabi ni mtu wa kukula awache sahani ae. Mama atakuja kuchuku. Nikamwambia sasa sisi nini na wewe tumebaki hapa wawili. Itabidi sahani yako ukikula unachukua unaenda unao. Hii jikoni nipate unao. And the guy within those few days he had uh, alikuwa ameshika. Nikikuja jikoni napata iko safi sasa. So faith akawa admitted akakuwa nini tulikuwa tunaenda kumuona na kijana akatoa kikisha she was going to be uh, discharged at the sita wakaongea na kijana tukaenda hospitali alifurahi sana kwa sababu ile room alikuwa ilikuwa na TV na hakukua kujua ku connect ile na huyu kijana kwa kwa technician wake tukienda huko anamuonyesha hivi na hivi na hivi alafu anamwambia niweke YouTube fulani wimbo mwingine ilikuwa inaenda Victoria sababu jana imba na fry on Thursday nikienda akaniambia na tukua discharge on Monday hiyo wimbo ikiima yeye anaima anashukuru Mungu anafurahi anasema ninaenda nyumbani tulipokwenda kumuona Jumamosi akaambia kijana hebu nichukue video ili itaonyesha watu hii ni victory ni vile nilishinda shetani so maana nilipoenda kumuona kumchukua sasa tuli twenda nyumbani nikaenda room nikapata yuko anasema what is happening at the end i see nikauliza mimi na siku kuchukuliwa test zingine ama ni nini kuingia kwa ofisi nikaambia afya yake ni dhofika sasa ikabidi akimishe HDU not is HDU so i rushed there mimi nimekwisha nguvu sasa because normally i don't like going to HDU so i see use so i went very discouraged but when i went to that room the person who encouraged me was me report ile nilimepewa pale na madaktari na ile nilina faith ile niliona ilikuwa vitu vili tofauti faith akaniambia mimi am okay wameleta hapa kwa sababu oxygen pale chini ilikuwa sio ilivyo sufficient so nimeletwa hapa nipewe enough oxygen but i'm okay getting okay the doctor have told me one or two days once the oxygen stabilizes then i will go home and that was it tuesday akaeka Wednesday nikashinda hospitali akaenda ni rafiki yake sana kwa kanisa yetu ya Destiny Life Church tuko na structures na katika structures na hakukosa kuja kuona faith so hiyo siku akaenda akanipigia simu around 12:30 and if you go in here 
nikasaini nikaingia nikapata amechangiwa bed penye alikuwa nikamuuliza kwa nini umechangiwa bed akaniambia hapa nimeletwa kuna kitu wanataka kuweka ndani kwa lungs because hii yenye wananiwekea nje oxygen haingii vizuri nikamwambia ah ni sawa kama ni hivyo huku mikononi mwa daktari kamuuliza na unasikiaje akaniambia mimi nasikia vizuri lakini kama umekuwa kama hujakuwa ukiniombea anza kuomba sasa na mwambie pasta kimonyo pia aniombe uh, na nikamwambia faith you need to keep hope alive if you give up it is upon you to desire to live and to keep that hope alive akaniambia am i leaving my children with kaambia yes kaongea kidogo vitu zingine hapa na pale kwa maana faith alitoaambia anakuja nyumbani na yenyewe ameenda nyumbani si ameenda nyumbani ako nyumbani kwa ba? kwa baba haleluya so on thursday huyo alipotoka nikapiga simu na nilipopigiwa simu nikaambiwa kimbia kwa hospitali. Nilikimbia kwa hospitali. Lakini kabla nikimbia kwa hospitali, mtu wangu wa kwanza kupigia simu alikuwa bishop. Nikaambia bishop, nimeitwa kwa hospitali na I am discouraged. I am frightened. Akaenda. I called my family na wote tukakutalika kwa hospitali. Nilipofika hospitali niliambiwa Daktari wakaniambia wamefanya vile wanaweza kufanya na faith was not responding to medicine and so uh, she's just surviving they only asked me okay you want to give us consent so that if matters run south we utafanya uh, resuscitation resuscitation wanto wa religion ko bila hewa mungu mmoja kwa hone. Unye wa daktari waje kananga nzamba hera mungu wa muonga hone. Kwa ande wanga ruhusa. Mimi nilitoka hapa na nikaenda. Na nipona kwa na faith. She was now talking. Amepewa dawa. Ndiyo alikuwa bada haja kufa. Lakini hangi ongea. Kwa sababu bile mitu walimuekea ni vichungu. Na aliwekua amepewa dawa. So tukaoma. Na mungu wakafanya mojiza ile hewa ambayo alikuwa wanasema itoshi tukaona ni kama imetosha so mimi nikaenda nyumbani nikalala hiyo ni tarehe tisa nikafika asubuhi kwa sababu si kupata simu tena nikashukuru Mungu nikasema faith at least bado ako hai nikakimbia mimi ufika ofisini kama mkubwa wangu mlisikia akisema nafikanga kwa ofisi mapema na nikasema leo siendi ofisi ninapitia hospitali saa 12 nilikuwa hospitali wakanizungusha nikaona faith karibu saa tatu nilipoona faith saa tatu yale tuliwacha jana yalikuwa yamebadilika hewa imebadilika kila kitu imebadilika so nikatoka nikienda kazini na tulikuwa na sister in law yake anaitwa Linda Linda sijua kwa wapi kufika kwa ofisi hata kabla sijaingia kwa ofisi nikapigiwa simu baada huko hapa nikasema hapana nimefika kwa ofisi akaniambia kindly come back at that call i knew things had run south i was not going to get any good report na nilikwisha kuoko kabisa kabili nichukue mwenzangu ule tunafanya kazi na yeye ana yeye akatoka tu haraka nilipomwambia akachukua gari yake nikawacha gari yangu na tukakimbia hospitali. Kapigia lile yule tulikuwa na yeye. Nikamwambia ninaitwa nirudi hospitali. Akaniambia mimi hata bado niko hapa. Nilipofika nikamwona ndio huyo analia. Na nikajua nimempoteza mke wangu. Hebu ndio nilimpoteza Faith. Faith akaenda hospitali hapo anaenda kukufa. Faith alitabea kwenda hospitali. Faith alipona akiwa hospitali. But tulifanya yote yanayoweza kufanyika. Alikuwa kwa hospitali nzuri, madaktari wazuri, dawa nzuri, 
lakini hangeweza kupona tunawaachia Mungu haleluya Mungu aliyemuumba amefanya nini amemuita so mimi sina budi kukwama kwa faith ninamwachilia apumzike kwa amani swali so, linalojiuliza ni kwamba leo tuko hapa na after one or two three four days i'll be going back to nairobi and i'll go back to nairobi with my children with a void with a gap i'm asking for your prayer muombe nasi ninapomaliza nataka kusema asante sana kwa kufika kwenu na aswa nataka kusema asante kwa komiti ambazo zilipanga ilisimama nasi kupanga kufanya mpangilio ya siku ya leo komiti ambayo iliongozwa hapo huko nyumbani na pastor Maiza na ndugu yangu Jackson ndugu yangu Zakari na wengine Mungu awabariki sana kanisa letu la PH ambayo mama anaenda mmesimama naye mkiomba Mungu awabariki sana asanteni sana kanisa langu la DLC where faith was fellowshipping and serving they have stood with me when faith died my daughter Feva Feva just come zika mama ya Feva huyu alikuwa anafanya mtihani and i want to thank god kwa kati kila mtu alikuwa ameogopa what would happen to Feva what would mpa nguvu she can able to stand and see I release the anointing of your mother that you continue to sing the gospel. Amen. Pick up from where she left and serve God. Wow. wow. Amen. Amen. So, Feva. So, thank you. Feva received the message and God has kept her and we are saying thank you very much for that. DLC, because of the Feva's examination, these matters were stretched siku sikawa nyingi lakini hakuna siku nilikosa kuwa na mkutano na mahubiri na encouragement from for the last 10 days i want to say thank you very much pastor watu wa dear siku kirudi we know you are a church that cares so give my regards to the other uh, members i am very happy and i also want to thank kpc Kenya Paypal. Flow go up. Flow. God bless you. God bless you because you took everything. When I called you, you told me no. Ganira you rest. Mourn your wife. Give me a representative. And you have not failed to perform. We are here because you did what you did. They paid the bill. They paid the mortgage. They paid everything. And so KPC, God bless you. Amen. Hata bei kenda juu sisi mabiashara tutafanya si ndio? Na tutaendelea. Mungu awabariki sana. Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Haleluya. Haleluya. Thank you. Faith was a worshipper. The woman we are burying there is a worshipper. Yes. The woman we lying there was a servant of God. The woman lying there was a, 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 an intercessor. Haleluya. Intercessa ni mtu wa maombezi anaenda mbele ili apigane vita she was on the front line just shook your front line sasa kuja na piga wewe kwanza faith was an intercessor True. i want to pray that her spirit of intercession will grow up in the children and will continue to work to serve god hallelujah hallelujah and mami yesu yango la Yangula na masaike Loya na gayangula Yangula mshina Haleluya mwami Yesu yangula Yangula na masaike Loya na gayangula Yangula mshina Oye mwami Yesu yangula Yangula na masaike Loya na gayangula Yes.
She worked as an administrator at Jubilee Christian Church, Kakamega, up to 2004, when she got married and moved to Nairobi. She then worked at Destiny Life Church between 2016 and 2021. She later served the Lord as a gospel musician, both in her church, that is Destiny, and the nation at large until her demise. She has released several gospel hits and was in the process of releasing her debut album. May the Lord raise her hair towards this talent and calling. Illness and demise. Three weeks before her demise, Faith had a slight cough which was managed as an outpatient and felt okay. Later, this persisted and she had to seek further medical attention at Mata Hospital something that we all thought was an outpatient issue. However, she got admitted on the 25th of October, 2023. Her situation deteriorated sharply with her oxygen levels fluctuating between low and normal. On 9th November, her oxygen levels went dangerously low and was taken to ICU, where she passed on in the morning of 10th November 2023. We live the heart and the life of our aunt to rest in peace. Aunt, may you rest in peace. Dance with, dance with the angels. We love you. We really loved you. Thanks for the life God gave you. You spent together. That is the history of our aunt. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Can we appreciate them with a wonderful club? Very, very articulate reading. Thank you very much. Uh, for those who wanted the person number, please note the number. Uh, I'll read it twice. 0722 
by her close aunties Esther, Lorna and Lucy. Faith was born with four other siblings namely Joseph Muhanga, Walter Muhande, Kaylord Andaye and Helen Martilani. Faith joined in Chira Primary School in Kakamega and later transitioned to Bishop's Lumeti Girls High School. Faith attended Secretarial College Kakamega where she excelled in secretarial skills. She, over time, attained several other skills which were enablers for her self-employment activities that she ventured into. Faith was married in church on the 30th of October 2004 to Abadid Andolo Ganira, with whom they had and raised three children, Kevin Mugala, Feva Adea, and Benaya Dixon. Faith was born in Friends Church, she later got saved and joined the Pentecostal Church. She has served the Lord in various ministries and in various capacities. Any attack on prayer is an attack on your life. Praise the name of the Lord. worked as an administrator at Jubilee Christian Church, Kakamega, up to 2004 when she got married and moved to Nairobi. She then worked as an admin assistant at Destiny Life Church between 2016 and 2021, where she continued to serve as a worship leader until her transition. That is a life of faith, a minister of the gospel. Now we want to receive uh, the church, and I've just consulted with them. They have agreed they will keep time. They have agreed they will be disciplined. And they have agreed I can stop them if they are not. I could not stop Mr. Andolo, but then I can. By the grace of God, Hallelujah. Let me receive the representative of PAG to say something. Oh, is that any Monday? We have plans on Sunday. This hour, we will even have more days. We have plans on May by Sunday. So the representative from PAG Church, we need to call him. Karibu na tuokoe wakati. Ita simama hapa kwa minajili ya ku manage wewe kama ndugu katika Kristo. Asante sana mchungaji. Uh, Mi naitwa Reverend Shigondi Eric nikiwa mhuduma katika wilaya yetu ya Goibei kwa hiyo nataka nilete pastor wa Goibei njoo pastor Ni wasalimu bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa sababu ya muda naomba kama kuna mabadiliko mahali ache kwa haraka sana salimu kikundi hiki alafu tuendelee Haraka sana na fasi sio yangu mama director wa kanisa la Goibe Ayuko mahali 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ningependa kusema tu pole kwa mji. Uh, mama Ana ni mama wetu tunampenda. Tena tulikuwa tunapenda msichana ambaye ametuacha. E, zaidi ya yote tunahitaji tu maombi kwa majina yangu ni Violet Ngosiwe mbarikiwe. Kwa niaba ya kanisa la Goibe na center ya Goibe tunasema mama Ana pole pamoja na jamii ndugu wa Ndolo pole kwa kupoteza mke wako Mungu wa mbinguni awe pamoja na wewe wakati gumu gumu kupanguzia machozi na kutie nguvu naitwa Edwin Tugini. Hallelujah. Asante huyu ni pasta wa mama. Uh, wachungaji ni wengi hatuta salamia. Wachungaji wa PGA bu inuka wave tu. Let's 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 clap for them. Wapige makofi. Wachungaji wanaosi mama na mama asante. Tuko na mama district. Mama district sema jambo moja tu muda si wetu. Ah uh, ni pana mama di ngavo ana salami. Bwana asifiwe church. Amjama wote. Tunasema ni pole kwa mtoto wetu Andolo pamoja na mama Hana na jamii yote. Mungu awakweze, Mungu awarudie, Mungu atakuwa pamoja nanyi. Amen. Yesu na asifiwe. Amen. Ah uh, mimi nasema kwa mtoto yangu Andolo pole, mama Ana pole, uh, Mungu atasimama pamoja na nyinyi. Mimi kwa majina ama nono Florence. Very disciplined. Thank you. No wonder you are mama district. Asante. Mimi ni Sangwa mama province. Mimi ni senior pastor katika kanisa letu la Goibe. Mungu awabariki. Wow. To be the most disciplined church. Makofi ya kuokoa wakati lakini ile ahadi nilipewa na Christ Ambassadors. Mujaona discipline brother John. Karibu. Unapiga siasa. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Mimi nachukua nafasi mbili pastor. Kama mkubwa mkubwa wa ndolo na tena mkubwa wa Christ Ambassadors Ministries. Faith alipotoka Kakamega alijoin Christ Ambassadors Ministries na immediately to a notice kwamba this is an anointed servant of the living God. Na tumefanya naye kazi kwa muda mrefu before she started settling down to the church. We noticed that um, later on, after settling down Kidogo kwa kanisa, alikuwa sasa ameanza to become international. Ama wale vijana wanaita celeb. I don't think you should call someone of course celebs. Kwa sababu there is only one name to be celebrated and that is Jesus Christ. Kwa hivyo, watu wa Christ ambassadors mnaweza kusimama Kidogo. Let's appreciate them. Let's clap them. I clap for them. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Ata ndolo ako ndani. Mmesikia vile inasemakana. Mmoja wa atakuja kusoma our eulogy after I've said a few words. Salamiana tu alafu. Thank you. God bless you. I want to say one or two. Nataka kusema mambo mawili matatu eh, kwa ajili ya mambo yaliyotokea na mnasikia vijana wakizungumza wakisema kwa hii nyumba yetu tulikumbwa na mikasa miwili Eguri had built a whole village there. Alikuwa hata na bowl na kila kitu. Na kia kumboleza sana alipo ona nyumba. Ike anguka chini kwa bulldozer. Yangu pia ike anguka chini. Ingile ya nugu wetu kuteli. Mbali metuwaga tena ike anguka chini. And that time we were going for a 
a pastor's uh, retreat. So, now, one can put your man. One can put your man in Kabisa. See, who is a Maswali and Dania Moyang. As I am a Swali, Nikama Yelika and Dania Moyo, Paka Wakati Tena, the following to the Maliza to your conference, Mambo Haya, your faith, Katokea. Ndiyo maswali ya kazidi sana ndani ya mwe wangu. Uh, when, I'm, when I'm in the presence of the Lord praying and my heart is speaking to the Father. Na bwana nili nijibu maswali haya mawili. Jibu ya kwanza lilikuwa kwa ajili ya nyumba zetu ambazo zilipomolewa kule Nairobi. Nyumba za mamilioni na ujia mutu kama mimi ambaye ameritaya my retirement mane nimeweka kwa nyumba alafu ina siku moja chini hivyo ni mbaya kabisa kwa ajili ya nyumba bwana akanijibu kwamba wewe ni mmoja wa waombezi you are a prayer warrior you are an intercessor kwa hivyo kama intercessor you pray for your government and you pray for your country usiweke hasira ndani ya moyo wako kwa ajili ya ya nyumba wale watu waliopomoa nyumba yako nyumba yako hapo uh, stoni yake wakiona nyumba yako ambayo mimi nakutengelezea watashangaa sana and i was strengthened in the lord kwa sababu nina nyumba kali ndugu bwana ameniahakikishia kwamba amenitengelezea nyumba i've got a house pastor amen including the pastor wants me to sit down thank you bwana akaniambia hivi Hakuna mtumishi wake hata mdogo hata mmoja ambaye huo mtumishi wa and I'm part of that group. It is only when the Lord himself says come on ndio tutaenda nyumbani. Na sisi hatuna we are not capable of dying. Bwana anatuita tu tunaingia kwa kwa mkono yake. Kwa hivyo msipatie shetani some credit at yeye ndio alisukuma faithi nyumbani bwana bwana mwenyewe aliona amuita nyumbani na faithi ameenda nyumbani kwa eh makono ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ambaye alisema kwamba yeyote azisikiae neno lake na kumwamini yule aliyemtuma ana uzima wa milele na hata hukumu ame cross over from death unto life so we are alive forever more. Amen. Brother Kamara. Yeah, I was even wondering if since we all have the book, must he read? Come and say hello, tell us the page, so that we save time if you accept. Because may it is written. God bless you. I leave it to your wisdom as a man of God. Praise the Lord. I want to say I agree with you, man of God. Amen. Let it be so that Faith was a great woman. Uh, our brother Andolo, the fact is that Faith is dead. The truth is that Faith is alive. I want you to know that I was in that shoe. And the way God has carried me through, He will carry it through. May God bless you. Let us all read the tribute. It is in the second last page. Of the book. Amen. God bless you. To bring him a coffee. We will need to let you wait. Asante. I have a mistake. Is open in Missouri. Can I call all the Destiny Life Church members? Please come. You must be the most disciplined now. All of you come here. We close this one and we go into hearing the word of God. Destiny Life Church. What did we get here? Musima me here. Moleka ne meto ka Nairobi. Lakini si Nairobi na kwa si ukimau. Ni machakos lakini tunasemaga ni Nairobi. Hiyo ni Nairobi yetu. Tupigie makofi Destiny Life Church. Eh the church that cares. I see Mr. Ndolo saying hey remember Asante sana we want to save time. Thank you. Thank you. Let's save time please. Let's time. You are wonderful people. Asante. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's just the line of uh, Mr. Ndolo amekuja hapa ka block. Can I ask the mark to please come? and say something on behalf of the church is our national secretary and then after that 
we will get into the church service. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. But as if you will, Amen. Amen. Um, the Andolos, the family, as a church, uh, we just want to say, God is good. In times of trouble. And he takes care of those who trust in him. And because we trust in him, we want to talk to the Andolos that we just put our concerns to the Lord. He still loves you. He has a good faith, have served our church for over 10 years and just been a faithful servant of the Lord. Our prayer and we know that the Lord says, yes, and the Lord continues to be good. May the Lord of all comfort, the God of all peace, may he console you and console the family because he is good. God bless you and may he continue to be together with you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elder Mark. In our ministry of pastors, we have Thank you. If any of you have anything to say, please say it in prayer to God. Shall we pray for the offer? stage. We want to get into a moment of praise and worship. And then we hear the word. We get a word of thanks. And we go and lay the remains of our sister to rest. Our Father, we thank you. For the gifts has come from their hearts, and it shall help the family to cut on the cost that they have. And we thank you for every giver in Jesus' name. Amen. Worship him, take it up, and after that, I will invite the bishop. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Victory Destiny Life Church Voices, the worship team. These are the people who are born as Savna Faith, and Faith was like a mother to many of them. Thank you very much. Let me get one worship song, then we, we just went by the bishop. Just one. Come on. Ningependa kwanza nilete rambi rambi zangu kwa ndugu yangu. Um, adoro pamoja na watoto wako Kevin Fever Bexen. Ni wote Jambo la pili kusema na furahi sana kufika sehemu hii ya Western Kenya. Kweli Kenya ni kubwa kama huku bado ni kwetu. <laughs> Kenya ni kubwa. Tembea. Tembea hii ili ujue tumebarikiwa na Mungu. Hii ni dunia imebarikiwa sana sana. Kiki kufanya kazi pamoja kwa miaka 13. Na pia kama vile umeona kwa tribute yake na geology yake tuweza kufanya kazi na Frida akiwa ana assistant na mimi nikiwa na kazi pamoja na yeye na ni kweli huyu dada yetu alikuwa dada wa heshima sana sitaongea mengi hapa sana kwa sababu na tulikuwa na muda wa kutosha sikuongea tukasema tungependa siku ya leo sana tulipee jamii na tugekaa sana hata nimefurahi kuona pande hii E, kwa sababu ya hali ya anga unaenda haraka sana sababu unasikia kuna masaa inaanza fika iwe ngumu kuendelea kwa hivyo ama well of that fact otherwise kule kwetu pande ya history sasa ndio masaa ya kwanza mazishi tunapaza sasa hii tuna tunafungua na maombi sisi tunaendanga mpaka njua inatufungia lakini nashukuru e, kwa vile mpande wenu kwa maji hapa 
Um, nimekuja kwangu na anasema ni chuki eh kila mtu anajua kwa hapa sio lazima ni chuki baada na rudi niko na mboma niko na mke na yeye ndio kamko kwa na niombeni kwa amani asante tupigie makofi mtu wangu haja hapa asalimie kidogo sababu hata yeye walifanya karibu sana sasa asifiwe kwa majina naitwa Jacinta Katutu na nampenda Yesu Kristo ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Ah uh, mtaniruhusu niongee Kiingereza. Uh, so we are here to bring our condolences for the loss of our dear sister Faith. Faith was a cherished member of Destiny Life Church community us for many years. She was the longest serving member of the praise team. She has served diligently. Uh, we have cherished her ministry. We're going to miss her presence. We're also going to miss her ministry. Uh, Faith has served diligently. She was very consistent uh, for about 13 to 14 years that she served with us. We also served together when she was attached at Main and also the admin for her school we were running. And Faith supported very diligently with the logistics. When we were planning for major events, we knew Faith was there to offer support. Um, we have lost as a church. Uh, we will miss her ministry, her presence with us. But we are comforted that we to know that she is with her maker. She is present with the Lord. And for us is to encourage the family and the children to continue trusting the Lord, to live for this Lord that faith loved so dearly and so passionately to meet her. May the Lord bless you, comfort you, strengthen you, and direct your paths. God bless you. Asana, sana, asana, asana. Niki tamati sana niweze kutambua atumishu wa mungu watu wa liyo mahali hapa. Na likuwa na tamani moja wetu waweze kuongea kwa nyamba yetu Lakini kathishwa kwa mba mesema Sabe ya mude kwa sawa sawa Lakini naomba tuwa tunishu wa mungu Ni waome kwa shiba mweze kusumama Kama wene tunishu wa mungu Hata kama mungu kule Ngeetene watambue Kwa sawa mbani Mimi ni mwanafunzi usoma sana Haa watu wa serekali Wakichukua nafasi Wanachukua munda wawa Wanatambua kila officer Officer, 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 officer Lakini kifika wakati wetu Watu kanisa mwarakishe Mwarakishe Nisame ya kwamba, ibada kama hidi ya kanisa. Kwa hivyo, programas, nikifika kwa chudaji, munaenda pole pole. Selekali ni makosa kwa rakisha. Kwa hivyo, hawa ni watumishu wetu. Kwa hivyo, naomba watumishu wa mtu padali, kama baali mulipo, naomba musmami, ili tuweze kwa tambua, na tusemi ya sani kwa sababu, umeshikilia peku wabalo kutuniani. Amuna na mtumungi na shikilia yu kasi. Asandeni sana, oh, nwende sana. Asante sana, asante mwisho. Thank you very much. Kukina tangua naona serikali ya binguni hiko hama. Thank you very much, kumba bariki. Ispo kama ya nekua kule kwetu, nino wapia kila mna fasi ya unge, kila mwaja, mwaja, mwaja. Lakini unyambia hapa, mfuwa ya kuwa inadenga masaa. Na naomba, nionge kidogo kama mzee wa kiafrika, sababu sasa nimetimu umuri wakua mzee wa kiafrika. Na nionge na ndugu yangu, mbwana kanira, adoro. Na pia, kusini, ndugu yangu sinye ni mwana mkua kwa njua maewra. Na, nisikia wale vijana pala wakiongea wa kata za faith. Mwende mpeleka wa toto. Mpeleka wa toto, mbwana kanira, chukua wa toto. Mpeleka wa o nyumbani. Wacha wa yu. Na waende wakaona ule mzee. Mkuna kileo ni mesikia. Nataka kuitisha. Kwa eshi. Mchuma, we are my hero, please stand. Please, what am I doing? Destiny, please take them to see their parents. Wapeleka. Na mwane na mwane. Mwane kwa kwa kama wane. Wadawo msikona kwa wane. Mwane kwa mzee na heza kitila kinyo esmame. Na njua. Kwa fili mwombe ya kiluya hile mekula nyas. Ule mzee na mama wapelekewe. Wapelekewe yu mwombe. Sababu, naona wakitisha watoto wa sababu. Sasa, hii ndi hile dami ya fake wana heza kudusa. Yuhi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Apo.
Nimeongea like an elder and a servant of God so that the Bible says that honor your father and mother that you may live long on earth. Basi wazazi sasa sio wawili, wazazi ni wangapi? Ni wanne kama wako hai. Na wale wamebaki ndio wamebaki sasa. Basi ningeomba sasa niweze kuingia katika neno la Bwana na nitatamasa na wale wote wa serikali mlio hapa MCS um Mungu abariki sana. Asante. I think this is probably one of the most disciplined eh kila kitu na sawa sawa. Na nasema asante sana eh Mungu abariki. Nataka tufungue Biblia zetu katika kitabu eh kitabu cha Luka Luke Yola. Ah, asante. Nashikanisha tukua na ongeza ongeza kile tu kidogo ninaweka hapo ndani. Kama nimekosea the fine linen and fed sumptuously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate. The and by the was buried, was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried, and being in torments in Hades, sent Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his figure in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham says, and besides all this between us and you, there is a great car fixed, so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot, nor can those who pass from Father, that you would send him to my father's house. For I have five brothers, and that he may testify to them, lest they also come to this place of torment. And Abraham said to them, They have Moses and the prophets. If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, Neither will they be persuaded for one raise from the dead. The Lord bless this word. Nataka ni shiriki nasi siku ya leo ama mchana wa leo na kitu ya leo siku ya pamba tunaona that there are two categories of people after this life. Baada ya maisha haya kuna category mbili pekeate. Hapa tulifu tukana tukana kina mama tuna waze tuna watoto na watu walika yote watu haina tabaka tofauti tofauti watu waliona vyeo na wale wana vyeo wafupi warefu wenono wembamba weupe weusisi wote tuko hapa lakini mahali sasa faith amekanyanga ule ulimwengu amekanyanga tegeo sanduku hata kabla hujaingia wakati tu pumsi imekatika na juice nimesema tukiwa katika eh, kongamano nyumbani na pia pale kanisani kwa Morio ya kwamba sio oxygen ili fe ili kosekana ndio dada yetu kapumzi na sio Mungu Mungu akoshindwa kumponya dada yetu dada yetu alikuwa ICU siku chache kuna rafiki yangu amekaa ICU miezi tatu na sasa anaenda kutoka oxygen imemunga ikafika chini zaidi akanisasitiwa mara mbili na akafufuka na bado ana nyumbani Mungu akoshindwa kufufua ku, 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 kusimamisha dada yetu ni waka kitari ambaye anaanza kuokoa maisha ya wanadamu kwa sababu Mungu amekuhitaji basi tunapoondoka na kanyanga mahali fedha mekanyanga kuna watu wengi peke yake ya kwanza ndiye anawaita those who die kulingana na Biblia the difference from the two these two tofauti the difference is where and how they will spend the eternity tofauti ni ni kwamba ni, ni wapi kata pumzi yako kuna maisha yingine mpya inaanza. Na hiyo maisha inaanza tofauti ya moja na ile nyingine ni pale utaenda. It is that only difference where you will go and how you spend your time there. And a good story told here is the story of Lazarus and the story of rich man. It's... Kama angekuwa imeandikwa na mtume Paulo ama mtume mwingine tungeweka katika mizani ya kufafanua barua za mitume wa Biblia. Lakini katika Biblia yangu na kama una Biblia ya maneno ambayo hii historia ilipeana na Yesu Kristo mwenyewe. Sisi wenye kutafsiri Biblia kiusomi tunasema kwa about the was said by Christ even if it was a joke that's an eternal word. You cannot subject it to any further interpretation. You iko ifo hifo kama ile kenda Robert anasema kwamba hiyo imeenda You can't recover. Here kuna namna hiyo. Kwa hiyo kuna kusoma historia 
hawezi kuitafuta tafuta 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 tafsiri mwingine lakini atuonyeshe ya kwamba that each one of us kila mmoja wetu we spend we will spend our eternity mahali tutatumika katika tutaenda baada ya kulala kama dada yetu we will be determined by the choice we make no choices no no choices by the choice we make the choice we make when we are alive Bila sema kwamba imehesabiwa kwa wanadamu kuishi mara moja baada ya ifo, Petro anasema kwamba ni ukumu. And that tells me that the choice we make will determine whether we will die in the Lord or we will die outside Christ. Tegemea kama tutakufa katika Bwana ama tutakufa tukiwa nje ya Kristo. Biblia inasema ufunuo 14 mstari wa 13. Sema that I had a voice from heaven saying Right to me. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, say the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works all them. Hapa tunaona ya kwamba alichwa. But let me take you kidogo tu kwa historia ya hawa watu watu wawili. Mmoja ile na mmoja tanjiri na mwili Lazaro. Kamba kilichompeleka Lazaro katika kifua cha Abraham biguni ni umaskini. Ah ah sio maskini yomdeleka. Ukina kwamba ni kwa sababu utanjiri ndio ulifanya tanjiri aende Jonam. Ah ah. Sio utanjiri uliopeleka mtajiri Jonam. Kilichompeleka Jonam ni kukosa kutubu dhabi. Ni kukosa kuwa na uhusiano wa kipekee, personal relationship with God. It is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ that the person named Lazarus had the head with God that took him to heaven. Kilichompeleka huko sio umaskini. Ah ah. Unaenda utiki utaenda kule mbinguni upate matanjiri kama Abraham waliofika huko wanaishi na Mungu na uende Jonah upate matanjiri huko na pia uende mbinguni upate maskini na pia uende Jonah upate maskini. Hali inakupeleka pale utaenda ina it is determined by the choice that you make. And I'm so glad when I was a young man, kwa kijana mwaka 17 18. Mimi mwenyewe baada ya kulewa kanisani kajua kwa baba kanisa la baba yangu. Kanisa la mama yangu alina uwezo wa kuniokoa na kundumisha. Alina uwezo wa kunipa uzima wa milele. Na katika huo umri nilikuwa mkijana mdogo. Nikajisalimisha maisha yangu kwa Kristo kajipeana. Huo uamuzi pekee ndio nakaonifanya ni yule mfano wa mbinguni. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na kwa sababu hiyo nasimama hapa ni kama uhakika. Nikijua na nikibishwa ya kwamba mimi ni mtoto wa mbinguni sio kwa sababu ya wazazi wangu lakini kwa sababu ya kwa sababu ya kwamba Bwana ameniokoa na Bwana alisamea dhambi. Mtumishi wa Mungu huyu Lazaro alikuwa anacheza ndugu yake pale. Bila sema alikuwa anakaa kwa mlango. Na hapo hamna story nyingi. Story inaanza wakati wao wawili wameenda wao wawili walikufa kile nasema mfurahi ni kwamba biblia inasema kwa barakati lazaro alikufa biblia inasema malaika walimchukua sasa kwa yale yanguka nikuambia kwamba wakati daktari alisema oxygen imekata sasa hata life support machine sasa haina haina life there is no life coming immediately kulingana na la Mungu ni kwamba immediately ni kwamba malaika walishuka pale na wakachukua nafsi ya faith waitendanishi na dunia na sasa ikaandaliwa kutolewa mbinguni Biblia inasema pia kanjiri pia alikufa Asante hii Biblia yangu inahitaji mafuni sio mimi hata hivyo wacha nisikie vile nyaya walikuwa wanasikia nyaya walikuwa wanatoa habari na jua ikija kwa hivyo na mimi wacha nisikie vile nyayo 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 walikuwa wanasikia <laughs> so huyu tajiri alikokufa the biggest shock ni pale alienda shock ya kwanza alafu najiuliza kama amekufa anapata shock na namna gani mpaka anaomba tone la maji ni kuambia kwamba kinachosikia kiu sio huu mwili Kinachosikia kiu kiko ndani yako na hakina nyama na hakina damu. Biblia inasema mwili na damu hasiwezi kurudi kufanya mambo mengi. Kinachosikia kiu ni nafsi yako. Sasa hiyo kampelekea dada yetu chakula hawezi. 
mwili tunao hapa lakini faith hayupo faith tayari yeye ashaingia katika ulimwengu mwingine na huko anaishi huko ako absent lakini huko ako present huyo tajiri alishtuka kutoka duniani na kufika sehemu ambayo ni kafu mpaka naomba akasema hata mate ni shida lakini Biblia inasema kwamba alipofungua macho akaona kijana alikuwa anamjua azaa akaambia eh hey, hey, bro fanya kitu bwana fanya kitu lete maji kidogo lakini akaambiwa ah ah haikuwezekana kwanza katikati ya hapa hizo that tells you tunapofuka hapo katikati amna nafasi ile hapo katikati kuambia kwamba kuna nafasi nyingine utafika upako mafuta hakuna mafuta mafuta iliyomo ni ya moto ndio iko hapo mzee aliyesema bwana sio tupe ya maji ah ah tone la maji sasa maji hapo ndio atakaoka ya Musa kija hapo lakini mimi nilisema kwamba ah ah hata Musa akija itawezekana wasiposikia wale wako huko wasiposikia wale wako huko so the choice that you make that choice is so important ukiingia kuchangua Kristo wakati uko hai lakini kuna nafasi lakini kuna tumaini kwa sababu tunaona tajiri ni mfano wa wale waliokufa wakiwa injia kwa Kristo na mwisho wao tunaona Biblia inasema ya kwamba Lazarus kwa sababu ya kukua kufa kio katika Bwana Biblia inasema alienda kwa kifungo cha Abraham na hapo anafarijiwa akibojea siku ya kuzawadiwa na Bwana siku ya kuzawadiwa kwa kuna timu siku itafika huu dada yetu azawadiwe sababu sasa amepita hukumu ya milele. Hiyo hukumu ya milele inatolewa na kutubu dhambi na kujua Bwana.
Hallelujah. Kwa sababu gani bila sema hapa muziki? Ni kwa sababu bila sema kwamba tunapoingia katika ufalme wa mbinguni, kitu moja Mungu atafanya bila sema kwamba atawapanguza machozi maana akuta kuwa na kifo tena na akuta kuwa na uzuri tena katika dunia mpya. The Bible says why they rest kwa sababu sasa it's like bass. Ni kama Bila sema kwamba alipumzika. Jambo la tatu ambalo nataka jiseme hapa, nasema kwamba their works follow them. Ya kwamba kazi yao inawafuata. Hallelujah. Wale wengine hakuna kazi kuwafuata. Kumaanisha kwamba hata kama ulisaidia maskini wengi, ukajenga shule mingi, ukafanya mambo mengi, kazi zako zitaishia tu hapa. Lakini ile kazi fail alifanya. Hallelujah. Bila sema kwamba inamfuata ama haenda nao ukienda biguru utaona nyimbo zake huko kazi inamfuata wema aliyotenda unamfuata lakini ukiwa inja kristo hakuna wema unakufuata hii malipo yako unapata tu hapa na Asia na maombi yangu my prayer this afternoon maombi yangu ani na faith na hii ndio preaching ya mwisho wa faith ye yeah, mwenyewe kwa maisha yake kuumili kwa sababu kutoka hapa wema wake is work our works for her sasa dada yetu anatarajia tu kuzawadiwa ndio inabaki kwa sababu kazi yake inamfuata je wewe unakutafuta kazi gani je wewe baada ya hapa nini kilicho bale pale utaenda pale yule mzee tajiri ama utaenda pale Abraham uamuzi na ufanye siku leo unategemea zaidi ni kiasi utaenda wapi baada ya maisha haya nataka tunamishe jizi zetu chini ili tuweze kuona mfalme wa mfalme Mungu wa mbinguni Mungu ya hai na kushukuru sana sipende kwa sababu umetupa nafasi sisi wanadamu tulio hapa tutoa hai ili tuweze kukutambua na kujua kama Bwana na mwokozi Naomba nikijua kwamba mali hapa kuna watu ambao hawakujua kama Bwana na mokosi. Kuna watu ambao hawajakupokea kama mtawala wa maisha yao. Na weka mbele sako Bwana siku leo. Ili wewe mwenyewe wafuta kwa nguvu zako Roho Mtakatifu. Wasaidie kutubu na kudanika na wewe kwa watu wote. Ili wakapumzike baada ya maisha haya na kazi yako wafuate. Na kwa haya maombi kama uko hapa na msikilizaji na Bwana kuna kitu tunakwambia kweli yenyewe kuna vile Roberta Bwana ikapigwa sasa kwa nafasi nyingine maisha yangu katika kama vile ya fedhi katika sasa nafasi nyingine nataka sisi wote tuombe maombi haya nyuma yangu hata wale tuliokoka sisi wote tuombe maombi haya tuangalika na wewe na kama utaomba maombi haya ukimaanisha na ujaokoka basi unjua kwamba Mungu ni mwenye ni mkarimu utaokolewa kutoka hapo utaenda kanisani kwenu ama kanisa pale na joko na mtu ameokoka na ustabilize na kwamba ni kwa mazishi niliokoka nisaidie kumjua Kristo basi sisi wote tuseme nyuma yangu e bwana Yesu Kristo naanza bele sako mchana wa siku ya leo nina kulilia nikitambua ya kwamba mimi ni mwenye dhambi ninahitaji kukumiwa na moto wa milele. Lakini wewe Yesu ulikufa kwa ajili yangu. 
ukateswa kwa ajili yangu siku ya leo nafungua roho yangu na ukaribisha ndani ya maisha yangu uwe bwana na mokosi wa maisha yangu nisamee dhambi bwana nioshe nitakase nifanye mtoto wako siku ya leo nimekupokea kama bwana na mokosi wa maisha yangu nimeamini katika ajili ya Kristo amen asante tupige bwana Yesu makofi basi kabla tuja tolewa mahali hapa naomba familia ya kadira na wao muslimane wale wa familia na wao mahali mulipo sitawaita hapa mbele kwa sababu naona ule wakati uliaidiwa wakati sasa umefika tumeshaona mambo ya kwa sababu kwa kesho yetu kwa ule mzee watoto wake mama kwa ndugu zake wote wale pesa ni kwa jamii baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo mfalme wa mbinguni nina kushukuru kwa sababu ya ndugu yetu wadolo pamoja na watoto wake nina wainua bwana nikijua kati huu wako na uzuri sio kawaida kwa sababu ya kupoteza mpendwa ambaye alikuwa na shida wao na siku iko hapa bwana ili tuweze kumsidikisha sasa tunaofunika na damu ya Yesu Kristo tunaofunika na uwezo wako bwana uwaongoze uwatetee washindanie baba naomba na kujua kwamba roho ya kifo upenda kufuata mahali kuna kifo kingine lakini siku ile kama watumishi wako tusimama nyuma ya familia hii kwa ya kwamba na afya na kubarikiwa na kutafuta mkono wako wasaidie bwana watendee kuongoza kwa baridi ndio matakamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana wa mokosi wetu amen asante sana i think ni taoba mc yake sasa asante asante askofu kwa neno ah Yule ambaye anapeana God of Thanks eh, jaribu kuje uh, utakunikwa uta na mavuli ya Optiven Mimi ndiye yule ambaye eh, kama ndugu yangu John mali yangu yote ilienda. Yote boma, hoteli, nini zote nikabaki vile ni kwa hivi. Familia yangu nasema asante. Marafiki kanisa kwa niaba ya bibi yangu tunasema asante. Nilikuwa mambo mazito sana. Kwamba nimeamka asubuhi na familia yangu na siku la hapo tena kwenye. Lakini Mungu ni mkubwa. God is good. mambo ya Mungu uh, nothing happens by surprise to God. Kuna kitu ina surprise Mungu. Esema hapa kwamba hata kifo ya faith si surprise. Naoni shuda Matthew kuchukulie kwamba kufikia sasa mimi ni mkubwa wa pili inaitwa ESG Environment Social and Governance wa kampuni kubwa sana na nilipokuwa nalia nilikuwa nasema Mungu basi wacha hivyo kama ilikuwa uchukue hii ndio nipe ingine ni sawa angaje wakati faith alikuja kaanga nikamuuliza sasa ni gani tena yote tunasema tuache Mungu 
kabla sijamani mtendaji wetu mwanzo anasema may god enrich you all may god bless you may you never lack may his blessings follow you all of your days na kuna imba ya na sana jua imekuja hiyo pia ni miujiza ya Mungu kuna wimbo kwa hayo te hiyo tenda Mayake in Metosha, Kumsi, 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 Kumsi,
Can you pay cable? Mungu atusipe majibu ya kila swali tukiwa hapa duniani. 
God may not answer all our questions. There are some questions God will let them go unanswered. But it's one day at our end of tribulation, God will satisfy us when we see each other face to face. And I believe there's one day that God will give us. Then I heard a voice from heaven say, Christ. Blessed are those who die. The safari. Nango. Lord God, we can please you, Lord, to rest. We, we stand and remain, oh Lord God, to the soil. Father, we want to thank you and we bless your name. We are starting with this. That everything else will come down. Yes. Your name be glorified. Hallelujah. Your name be honored, oh Lord God. Yes, Lord, we stand on this place with the precious thank you, blood Lord. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We draw a line of blood. Thank you, Lord. That, Lord God, there is no evil that shall penetrate thank you, in Lord. this compound. <laughs> Thank you.